they were scenes marked by chaos and desperation. Hundreds of Afghan citizens running alongside a departing U.S. C-17. It was a stunning collapse. Chaos in the streets of Kabul. The Taliban now controls Afghanistan. The U.S. Embassy evacuated, all leading to the end of a 20-year war. We've been a nation too long at war. The Taliban back in control two decades after September 11th. America's longest war comes to a sobering end. Every single U.S. service member is now out of Afghanistan. Now, nearly a year after the U.S. withdrawal, the indelible images remain. A U.S. Marine lifting a baby over a barbed wire topped wall at Kabul's airport. The parent asked the Marines to look after the baby because the baby was ill. They treated the child and returned the child to the child's father. And this photo, taken by Technical Sergeant Justin Triola. The U.S. Air Force seven member crew Reach 871 made headlines around the world for their split second decision to take 823 Afghan citizens who were fleeing the Taliban onto the jam packed flight. Members of that team sat down with ABC News and revealed the dramatic details behind the viral image. We're basically taxiing over where we're supposed to just deliver our cargo and pick up what was supposed to only be a few military working dogs. All of a sudden, we saw this rush of people. And then that's where, as a crew, we started talking through how we're going to handle this situation and how we were going to be able to accommodate them and make sure that they could safely get on our jet. Obviously, we don't have 823 seats with seat belts on board. It's designed to use cargo straps as seat belts onto the floor. But with that many people, even that was impossible to do. So everybody was holding on to each other pretty much at that point. A lot of the um, people coming on board, you can see um, they were really scared and nervous. And there was nobody else on the ramp. So literally everybody that was flooding the ramp at that moment made it onto the aircraft. 640 adults and 183 children a record for the C-17, built to carry a maximum of 171,000 pounds of cargo. Taken on board the flight bound for Qatar, this photo shows a toy from one of the pilots given to a baby. And this picture of a sleeping child using senior airman Nicholas Barron's military blouse as a blanket. In flight, I hung my blouse up on a hook on the aircraft. It fell off, and the mother of the child uh, kind of pointed to it, asked basically a uh, in a sense, asking if she can put it on her child. And to see um, some of the children on board were kind of nervous and scared, and now they're relaxing and uh, they're sleeping kind of gave me um, a little ease of mind. When we took off, uh, I don't think it really sunk in yet. Um, what we were doing besides the best we could to just save a bunch of lives and get people to safety. But I knew when we actually did take off, there was such a sense of relief. Okay, how many people do you think are on your jet? 800 people on your jet? Holy cow. I was calling back to make sure that we could get these folks immediate medical attention and get them the help that they would need. And the reaction from the individual that I was talking to, he's just like, there's, there's no way. That's not even a thing. And I was like, no, well, we do. Well, originally, I think I just took that photo for proof because I didn't think anybody would believe how many people we had on board. Then, it, I guess it just provided more hope for America and the refugees that we were able to help out. 